Well, joining me now is Peter Dunn, a former Cabinet Minister and MP for 33 years. Peter, what was astounding to watch today was just how defiant Stuart Nash was. He clearly saw no problem with calling the police commissioner to chat about a court case. Is that part of the reason that he just had to go? Absolutely. I mean, he, he, he doesn't, does not have a leg to stand on. The Cabinet manual is very clear about ministers not influencing or seeking to influence court decisions or interfering with the constabulary independence of the police. He failed on both counts. His position became untenable once he was foolish enough to admit to the nation that was what he had done. Yeah, that was extraordinary too, wasn't it, that, it, that he revealed it on his own. But the police commissioner has said essentially that Nash was venting and he didn't take that call seriously. He certainly, certainly didn't act on it in any case. But should he also have flagged Nash's inappropriate phone call? Well, I think this is the key point. You see, see Nash has been... He stood aside as Minister of Police. He says he wasn't Minister of Police at the time that these incidents took place, which is fair enough. He was holding other portfolios. The Cabinet manual doesn't distinguish. It says ministers full stop. So I think there's a very strong case, actually, for him being stood aside as a minister altogether. And whether the police commissioner was influenced by it or not is really immaterial. The breach was what uh, damned him. And he, he breached the rules, not as Minister of Police, but as a Minister of the Crown. And for that reason, I think he should have gone all, all together. Yeah, well, that was actually what I was going to sort of ask you next. The opposition also want Nash gone from Cabinet, but the Prime Minister has allowed him to keep his other portfolios. But you do not think that that is the right call? No, I don't, because this is not about an action he took as Minister of Police, for which he's resigned. This is about an action he took while holding other portfolios, an action which breaches the Cabinet manual in at least a couple of conditions. And the Cabinet manual doesn't say, oh, it only applies if you're Minister of Police. It applies to all ministers. And therefore, he should have been asked to stand aside from all his portfolios. Well, it's been a fascinating day. Thank you so much for your insight. That is Peter Dunn. My pleasure. Thank you.